Dedication and Introductory of Narrative of My Captivity Among the Sioux Indians. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Narrative of My Captivity Among the Sioux Indians by Fanny Kelly. Dedication to the officers and soldiers of the 11th Ohio Cavalry, for their persistent and daring efforts to aid my husband in effecting my rescue, and to the officers and soldiers of the 6th Iowa Cavalry, for kindness shown me after my ransom and return to Fort Sully, this narrative is affectionately dedicated by the author. Introductory the summer of 1864 marked a period of unusual peril to the daring pioneers seeking homes in the far west. Following upon the horrible massacres in Minnesota in 1862, and the subsequent chastisements inflicted by the expeditions under Generals Sully and Sibley in 1863, whereby the Indians were driven from the then western borders of civilization in Iowa, Minnesota, and the white settlements of Dakota, in the Missouri Valley, the great immigrant trails to Idaho and Montana became the scene of fresh outrages, and, from the wild, almost inaccessible nature of the country, pursuit and punishment were impossible. I was a member of a small company of emigrants, who were attacked by an overwhelming force of hostile Sioux, which resulted in the death of a large proportion of the party, in my own capture, and a horrible captivity of five months' duration. Of my thrilling adventures and experience during this season of terror and privation, I propose to give a plain, unvarnished narrative, hoping the reader will be more interested in facts concerning the habits, manners, and customs of the Indians, and their treatment of prisoners, than in theoretical speculations and fine-wrought sentences. Some explanation is due the public for the delay in publishing this my narrative. From memoranda kept during the period of my captivity, I had completed the work for publication, when the manuscript was purloined and published, but the work was suppressed before it could be placed before the public. After surmounting many obstacles, I have at last succeeded in gathering the scattered fragments, and, by the aid of memory, impressed as I pray no mortals may ever be again, am enabled to place the results before, I trust, a kind judging appreciative public end of dedication and introductory